Phone call completed. That's a heck of a way to start out a vlog. Um, just trying to get some stuff together. So today I did reach out to the person who is kind of like the go-between for, um, he's at the Portland church. And so I wrote him a letter and I just kind of laid it out and I was just telling my husband all of this. Um, and was like, hey, you know, here's what's going on. Um, it's kind of a really bad time. We need a little more time. I am still packing. I am still looking into, um, you know, being able to leave. Um, Anyway, um, but as of right now, the way it stands that we're having problems, you know, mortgage companies aren't, um, at full capacity. That, um, realtors are really not looking to show houses right now and our realtor has two small children so I don't you know with Anthony working in the health system I don't want him I he has been exposed uh, two patients have come through the VA and I don't want to expose the guys kids hey okay. can I get a 24 of mine yeah thank you want to use a free one yeah Um, and so, you know, I, I do want to keep others in mind and protect others because I know, you know, I can't fully protect myself because my husband has to come home, but we never would want to give it to anyone else. And that's, you know, part of the thing that scared me, um, was the fact that that we didn't want to go to Portland because we knew there was a case there 100% and at the time we had no cases they were all presumptive and at the time we still had a zero positive test um, and so uh, my head just kept telling me that we were gonna bring it back and everyone was gonna get sick here and it did it scared me I was like I lost my wallet um, and so I did worry about it and I was um, really cautious I didn't want to be in a position where um, I oh, forgot I had that. Um, where we would be in that. Um, we might bring it back kind of situation. Did you want to talk? Yeah. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Yeah. I have to go get gas now. Anyway, and so. It just it's all scary and it's all new to all of us and I explain that you know I'm packing up non-essentials and we are on a list for a the homeless program through the VA which I would rather not take it from someone who might need it more than us but I say that and the realization is we're gonna be the homeless you know, vet family and so I would be taking it away from us if we gave it up. And so, I just, I feel like there are others out there. I don't know why I demean our family. Like, we don't need it as much as them. Because we do. We are in the same boat that others are in. And so, it's just changing my way of thinking. Um, 
my stubbornness to not want to ask for help the whole nine. Um, so, yes, I feel very unmotivated today and I had a free one. So, I was like, you know what, I'm going to go treat myself to the free one, go home, pack some more. I took yesterday off. I've been kind of busy um, getting some other stuff done, getting um, some lines out there to figure out what can and can't work and where we will be kind of situation. And so um, yesterday was more of a, a take it to myself day because I kind of needed it and made lazy lasagna which I did not film yesterday um, I kind of backed off on filming food so much though I do miss it and I know that seems silly kind of like the lazy lasagna which I could have made it a different way but all it is is ravioli ricotta cheese and sauce and it turned out really good and I did make a garlic parmesan bread I ended up with two loaves but we always make garlic bread with it and so I just encased the whole thing the only thing missing out of it was because it's like butter mayonnaise on a French bread cut in half um, mayonnaise butter mayonnaise garlic salt or garlic powder and parmesan and then you grill it well I just made it into a loaf which turned out really good mm. I don't know why I didn't egg wash it at the beginning of it so the top kind of got a little crusty but it was still good and I don't know why it was like the palest bread I've ever made. So I pulled it out, egg washed it, and then put it back in and toasted up a little. And I was like, don't, don't. We're not doing that. <laughs> we're, we're not, you know, gonna pretend like <laughs> I can't bake all of a sudden. Um, there were a couple pieces of ravioli that were a little on the crisp side. Um but oh well um what else I just try to take every day and not stress I've been actually the first couple of days I stressed out and I had some trouble sleeping I haven't last night was really good I yesterday had my vir first virtual doctor's appointment um so um that went really good and it was really easy um what else and then like i said i just kind of took the responsibilities that i had to do because i have been forcing myself to do quite a bit and so i think self-care is something i really need to work on because I am really bad at it. I will be the last person that is taken care of and I can't give to anyone else if I'm running on empty. Um, I think my watch, and I'm wearing my watch again, um, said that I went to bed at 9.45, which seems about right because I was really tired last night. Um, I took a quick bath hopped in bed and I don't even know that I talked to Anthony for very long and then I was out and I didn't wake up until 7 10 7 20 this morning so my sleep is good and that's one thing that the doctor had asked me was you know what time are you going to bed what time are you going to sleep like going to bed going to sleep like how long does that take you what time do you typically wa wake up And I get a good amount of sleep, which does make me feel better. Um, it isn't like what the doctor was saying. Uh, 
not the doctor I saw yesterday, but one of the others, you know, sleep will put you in pain and that's probably where most of this is coming from, that and your fat. He didn't say it like that. Um, but I can get, um, there's been a couple of times when the infection is bad, I tend to sleep about 12 hours, which unfortunately, that's too long in bed, but my body needs to heal and if I can't sleep and get into REM, then I can't, your body can't heal fully because it, it, that's the time it uses is, is when you're asleep to heal. And so, um, okay, people are driving real interesting. Um, so I started wearing my watch. I said, you know, you want to, there's some glove at home monitoring system. And so I was like, okay, okay. And there's like a piece on your chest and then the glove on your hand. I was like, okay, I'm good with that. Um, the whole wires and everything on me, not so much. Um, and you know, run over do you sleep on your back oh no not even on my hips stomach sleeper all the way back make like it throws out my back like I can barely move um, I am definitely when we move into somewhere I need a full ceiling not this angled stuff so when I do need to be in bed I can sit up and be comfortable um, yeah, I'm just like all over right now. I feel a little better now that I have coffee. Oh, anyway, so even sleeping 12 hours, that puts me in too much pain because I've been in bed too much. But as of right now, I am in pain. And I told him because he asked if I had basically I had restless leg. Yes, I have restless leg. And that is dependent on how much I do during the day. The more I do the worse it is. And then I was telling him, I said, I know it sounds really silly, but I'll have my kids, you know, ball up a fist and with the side of their, and it just kind of confuses the muscles in order to kind of calm down. I said, is that or a really hot, hot bath? I said, I've tried a medication. I was allergic to it, like rash. And he goes, okay, so yes, but I was like, I like to try to go a non-medicated way first and see if, you know, that can help. And I know caffeine close to bedtime is not good and it's not good for your sleep, but for me, I can drink caffeine and go to sleep and have a fairly good night's sleep. And he agreed with the not caffeine. He asked how much I do. I was like on an average. I have backed up off of these, which I even, when I get these, it's half the caffeine. Um, so I make sure I've dropped that caffeine level. And I said, I have 10 ounces on an average day every once in a while I might have 20 he goes even 20 is moderately low he goes so you know and just going over it and so we'll see I said hey I have a Fitbit it tracks my sleep the REM the restlessness he goes that would be good if you could send me like two weeks and so I'm gonna send some from earlier in the year some now and see how it is. Anyway, I have blabbed your guys' ear off. I'm gonna pull over, get some gas, and then maybe go, actually the gas station's down from Joni, the one I'm going to. So I'm gonna go see what she's up to, see how she's doing. Um, be her little sunshine. And then um, I'm gonna head home eventually need to pack some more. I'm trying to do four or five boxes a day 
and I think that should keep us in a good momentum moving forward. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.